Hello, welcome back to Blue Harvest Vintage Toys. Not so much toys on this video today, it's my record collection, my vinyl collection. You see I've got two boxes full. I don't, they're not in order, <laughs> so it, it's a it's a miss, potluck, whatever I get out today. I really don't know what I've got to be honest with you, I've got that many, I just buy, I just buy them when I see them. So I'm just going to start with my uh, my singles collection which is not very big so first of all I've got the Star Wars and the Empire Strikes Back vinyl story I had these I think I had the I think I had that on vinyl but the rest was on cassette back in the day I don't need that Empire Strikes Back it's not uh, it's not brilliant is that when I've had to stick it down but uh, I do have it and they, they do sound fantastic what I might do is I might actually put a little bit on at the end of the video for you to listen to because they're fantastic it'll just take you back totally um, never walk alone during the pacemakers and you'll never walk alone from the Bradford City Disaster Fund um, I'm a big Liverpool fan so that's that's the song for me Vic Reeves <laughs> Bruce Springsteen big fan Bruce Willis I remember getting these back in the day <laughs> you see uh, Pat and Farming because he's a uh, uptown girl by Billy Joel village people look at that YMCA I don't know why half, half of the time I'd buy these because I get them at the charity shop 50p it's iconic in it so <laughs> it's just nice to have Vic Reeves again um, Dizzy so I've got a couple of Vic Reeves singles there I don't know what that is oh John Travolta Summer Nights I think that's my ex-wife's <laughs> Billy Joel again tell her about it Michael Jackson one day in your life, Tamil Motown. Ghostbusters 2. The Ghostbusters 2 single. Ghostbusters fan, I bet not a lot of people have that. Uh, that is Billy Joel again, just the way you are. Day Straits. Romeo and Juliet, what a song. I, I, I actually forget I've got, <laughs> I've got these. And it's nice to have them, actually to, to look through them. Derek and the Dominoes, Layla, long version, Eric Clapton. Wow. Um, this is, I don't know what this is. Oh, Delilah, Tom Jones. <laughs> Allentown, Billy Joel again, Foreigner, I know what love is. And The Clash. The Clash. Look at that. The Prisoner and White Man in Amazon Palais. So there you go. That is... Uh, my quite boring singles collection coming on to the the best bit now as i said I just, I just when i see some singles i just look through them and buy them limited edition mr stay puffed ghostbusters now it's just got two two songs on this one got ghostbusters ray parker jr and ghostbusters by run dmc um it's actually gets out. It's actually on white vinyl, and the cover smells of marshmallow. Believe it or not. So you can see there. There's a Ghostbusters uh, logo, and it's on white vinyl. So it is quite a rare item, is that? Oh, it smells of marshmallow. Does that? It's unbelievable. <laughs> now I think when the person that bought me this thought it was the Ghostbusters soundtrack I'm trying to get it back in without damaging it it thought it was a Ghostbusters soundtrack it? now I've got uh, 3D Mr. Stay Puffed in as well That. 
so it is it is quite a good uh, thing to have uh, I wish I hadn't opened it to be honest with you because it, 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 with it being thick and padded out it gets damaged quite easily and it won't fit in the cases so I've had to, I've, I've had to keep that out of the cases talking Ghostbusters this is the original soundtrack album it is what they thought that was <laughs> but I haven't even opened it I uh and the price there some deeper but that I had that I had that on repeat uh, for all through the summer of 84 Johnny Cash one of my favorite movie soundtracks I collect movie soundtracks and TV soundtracks obviously and that is one of my favorite again I'm finding these in charity shops and bagging bins and things like that but that was five pound well worth it I think it was five pound when I actually bought the original The Natural the probably the best sports film of all time yeah I know you're thinking escape to victory but no even if you're not a fan of baseball that is a fantastic movie and the music is amazing so I had to have that Neil Diamond I got this in the charity shop. Um, brings back too many memories, so I got to play that. <laughs> Joel of the Nile, another soundtrack that I found in a charity shop. Not brilliant, not really brilliant. Um, going gets tough, obviously. But that's about it. So, <laughs> Phil Collins, no jacket required. Charity shop. Set pool two, picture disc. It's a, it's a most of picture score. I thought it was the soundtrack, and I want the soundtrack because the soundtrack is fantastic. But there you go. It's it's dead pool. It's a picture disc. Eagles. Uh, da, 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 da. Charlie shot find these eagles. Uh, no, those songs I actually know so. Again, a lot of this stuff is probably rubbish and what I could get rid of, but uh, Roy Orbison Great States. I love Roy Orbison. Carpenters, another one I don't really listen to because it brings back too many memories. Sam and Garfunkel, Great States. Look a lot. <laughs> so I'm going. One of the best soundtracks, movie soundtracks of all time. Three Pound Soul Rider. Three pound for a Top Gun soundtrack, the original. It's not a re-release. That's the original. Tom classics. <laughs> Remember that from the eighties. Oh dear. There you go. A classic album. Johnny Cash at San Quentin. What a what an album that is. Fantastic. Next up, we have the Muppet Show. I had this when I was a kid. That's the only reason I bought it again. And. <laughs> I don't, I don't play it, just, it's just there because it's nostalgia reasons. Uh, TV themes, look at those, that's Dasky Nutch. What have we got on this? Let's see what we've got on this. Sailing from Ark Royal, I don't know. Charlie's Angels, Dasky Nutch, Uneeding Line, Galloping Home, Black Beauty. Now, they, they had loads of these um, albums back in the day, and Black Beauty was always. There was Black Beauty, there was Y5O, I always had to have the these same songs on. Uh, <laughs> Walton's Streets of San Francisco, Film Night 77, wow. Shaft, Sweeney, Six Million Dollar Man, Eyeline, Wings, Paul Dark, New Avengers, New Faces, Kojak and Generation Game. <laughs> That'll take you back. That will take you back, that's unbelievable is that one. Sound of music, um, don't know why. Probably thought I might be able to make a, a bob or two on that. Another favourite theme shows, it was 50p. Again, it's not got really earth shattering tunes on. Inside, Black Beauty, you see? It's always got to have Black Beauty on. Called it's Country Man, don't know, it's Midweek. Upstairs, Downstairs, 
Man Called Ironside, Alias Smith and Jones, Love Story, blah blah blah. World of Sport, that's another one that, um, that we're always on these. Absolute Beginners, underrated album, soundtrack. The film is not very good, but it has got David Bowie in it and Ray Davies. So, yeah, this, I mean, it's got a Vespa on it before I like Vespers. Uh, Absolute Beginners by David Bowie. A couple of David Bowie songs on. That's Motivation, David Bowie. Ray Davies, Quiet Life, that's a really good song and a good video, actually. So if you ever find, if you ever have a chance to listen to this, have a listen to it. It's really good. Um, the film, I don't think I've seen the film since I saw it the pictures uh, back in, what, 86, 87, 86, yeah. Patsy Kensett as well. Eight for understanding Patsy Kensett. There you go, Make Love, but out of hell. Had to with these, because they different, did it different versions. I think one was CBS, someone was, I've got what the other one was. I had that too. I think my ex-wife's taking the other one. Monty Python. He also got to have a Monty Python record. Another Monty Python record. Really, really good to listen to. Um, God knows what that is. It was uh, in a charity shop for about 20p, probably. The Batman theme. Monkey with a penguin, take that away, you fiend. Batman Chase. In my merry Batmobile. Robin's Nest. Give him zap, old chap. I've never actually played it. <laughs> I don't know if I ever should. Thriller. Every record collection is good to have Thriller. 10cc. Greatest hits, 72 to 78. Of course, Night at the Opera. Um, got to be in my Rhapsody on. I can always remember Sunday afternoon with me, mum and dad, putting the record player on because I've never had anything on TV on Sunday. I'd always ask to put Birmingham in Rhapsody on. You'll be loose in the news. I've seen them live. Fantastic, still going. And four, which is the best album. Jacob's Ladder stuck, stuck with you, a whole lot of loving. Don't it for my baby, hip to be square. They all remember that. The Power of Love, of course. Sports is brilliant as well though. I like sports as well, but I think four's better. Heart of Rock and Roll, Heart and Soul, Bad is Bad, I Want a New Drug. Actually, I don't know, I might, sports might be better than that. Another, uh, Bruce Springsteen, uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen, Ray Orbison, look at that, that shows how old this uh, this is, that's the reason I got it, to be honest, it probably, probably doesn't play, Only the Lonely, Cry, uh, da, 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 da. so that's an original album, not not like a greatest hits you always see, talking Roy Orbison, Travelling Wilburys, what an album, what an album, it's a shame they died. And again, Mystery Girl. That's a really good album by Robertson. He was just coming back into recording again when he died, unfortunately. Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Another David Boy. I like David Boy. Um, I want the. I'd like that poster because that's a really good film. Move them up because you're not be able to see them. Twin Peaks. It's not the original soundtrack. So that's why it's um, still sealed. It's the limited uh, series one. Danny Straits, Brothers in Arms, everybody's got to have that one. Burt Bacharach, I like Burt Bacharach. War of the Worlds, everybody's got to have this, this one too. The original soundtrack, War of the Worlds. What? What? <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Um, popular music that will live forever. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> no, none of that I really know. Some from Moulin Rouge. Um, Moulin Rouge. No, don't know any of them. Over the rainbow. 
Davis Soul. <laughs> oh, I always remember Davis Soul's record career. There you go. You think I'm a big fan of Davis Soul, don't you? It's just one of them joke things, I think. There's nothing on there that I know. That, I don't know if there is on that one. Uh, Silver Lady. Don't give it, where's Don't Give It a, Oh, I ain't, got, I ain't got that. Don't Give Us a Up On Us Baby. Jet uh, John. Seen him. Seen him live. Yeah, let's just get this for £2. You can't go wrong, can you? You know what I mean? Your song, Daniel Honky Tonk. Goodbye, you little bit rose. Saturday night's alright for fighting. Rock it, man, candle in the wind. Don't let some go down on me. What a song. And cro Crocodile Rock. In the case, for £2. You know what I mean? It's, it's mint. Can't go wrong for that one. And again, Miami Vice, 12 inch version, Smugglers Bros by Grimfrey. Brilliant song. Right, on to the second. Oh, these are a bit tight. Bruce Springsteen, The River. What else can I say about Bruce Springsteen? Fantastic, love him. Big, big fan, big fan. As you'll see, because of most of these will be probably Bruce Springsteen now. War, 12 inch. I think I paid more now for it than I did originally. Tunnel of Love, 987. Means a lot to me actually that one. Um, the cover on this isn't very good, but the album is obviously. I've got it, um, the better version in a frame on the wall. You might have seen one of my other videos. Western Stars, Bruce Springsteen, he, uh, Gone a bit of country. It's really good. That's it. That's his latest album, and it's really, really good. Not really a big country and western fan, but that is amazing. Um, picture disc. Better days. Mark, great sticks of Roy Orbison. I should put all these together. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to sort them out. I suspect. Beastie Boys. Now this, not this one, but this the original one that I had um, was with my first wage, my first and ever wage. What an album that is. When I bought it, Fight For Your Right, and uh, No Sleep To Brooke, I thought it was like the more like it. I didn't realise they were a uh, hip hop rap band so I'm a bit surprised when I actually played the album but I love it I love Beastie Boys American Graffiti I think I got this for about two or three pound um, obviously George Lucas's well, second film second official film and it's got all the rock and roll of the day so, uh, what, why, why wouldn't I buy that? Look at that for an album. Double album. I think it's three pound. Got all the rock and roll, and it's it's a sound film soundtrack. It's a George Lucas film soundtrack. <laughs> Queen Great Stits. I should put that with me, other Queen. Like I said, these are like totally out of order. I've just put them in cases just to keep them that is that is the re-release so I just want to keep them keep them uh, nice stand by me 12 inch that 1986 ish and that was for the Levi's ad. So we all we all got that back in the day. Buddy Holly, greatest hits. I love Buddy Holly. Um, Owen saw a, doc a documentary, but uh, a drama about his life. And I was hooked ever since then. War of the Worlds. I think this came out in about 85, if I remember rightly. Uh, da, 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 bear with me. 
Oh, 19, 1989. I didn't kill that all there, to be honest with you. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's a remix of it, but it's still good. I love, I love the World of the World soundtrack. Tip out. Oh, I'll tell you about my old record collection. I left it in my mum's house, and when she moved, it got left there, unfortunately. And I had picture discs of Tip Um Everybody. Everybody. I'd, oh. I've still got to thinking about it. I had all my soundtracks, all my Star Trek, Star Wars, um, Miami Vice. I had all three Miami Vice soundtracks and loads of T'Pau. Carol Decker. Oof, so what fit still is. Um, Big Reeves, again. 12 inch version of the 7 inch they saw earlier. Now, I, I, you know, I collect soundtracks, but I collect old Star Wars soundtracks and there were so many back in the day and this is the music of Star Wars what they usually do is they put a couple of Star Wars tracks on and put some sci-fi tracks on as well and I'm trying to look at the um, the date on this but there's no date unfortunately but it's, it will be 78 I would have thought there's no case in with that but uh, what a shame da, 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 da. it would should say oh 1977 there you go all right so yeah this actually came out before the the film in this country so <laughs> i think i've got a couple more of the star wars easy rider soundtrack iconic film talking of iconic films the best film ever ever made there's the lost ark and the first ever soundtrack i ever ever had was on cassette and it was indiana jones of the temple of doom and i actually thought because up to then i'd only had um like get story stories on tape and record and things like that so i thought it was a story of temple of doom but it was in fact the score soundtrack and it's actually got Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom in the on the back what a mistake so that is not the original that is a, um, a later version it's a brand new version it's a double double album with all the music it's just fantastic I always wanted that. I could, could never find it as a kid. So it was one of the first things I did when I started collecting my records again was getting this. There's one bit where um, the desert chase, I think it is, where he's on the horse, and that just that military sound of the indie theme is just amazing. Original start, original, this is the original, it's not a re-release, it is the original Gatefold Star Wars double album soundtrack from 1977. So that's worth everything to me. Um, Empire Strikes Back, I had this on cassette forever and ever and I played it forever and ever, but this is the American version because um, RSO it's got two albums it's got a book inside I'll get it out and I'm, you can uh, have a look because I was talking about this on the Vintage Rebellion not so long back the podcast of the Vintage Rebellion and you've got a little booklet and see that and it's got all the pictures it's got the notes as well from um, John Williams in here somewhere I should have I did have I don't know where they've gone but uh, yeah oh no, it's there sorry it's at the back so little notes on each there's an interview with him there and it tells you all the musicians that were in it and it 
it, it's a little note on each each track. It's really, really good. And um, as I say, the uh, Vintage Rebellion was talking about it, and they tried to get it, and they got the one, and the, the last page were missing, and <laughs> they missed a bit. But that, I mean, it's not in perfect condition, as you can see. And it, but it, I got this at Echo Live for five pound. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I already had the Star Wars one, but I, I didn't have Return of the Jedi and Empire Strikes Back, and I got both of them for ten pound. That's just the one album. It's unfortunate because the music is quite good in Return of the Jedi. Probably, I don't know if I prefer the Return of the Jedi soundtrack to the Empire, but... Uh, uh, Force Awakens soundtrack. That's got the hologram that floats above the record when you uh, when you play it. That's an amazing soundtrack. Uh, the Jedi Steps is my favourite. Race theme's pretty good as well, though. Rogue One. I still, <laughs> still haven't, haven't opened it, actually. A lot of these I don't actually play, because um, you, can, you can listen to them on Spotify. But I just like to keep them nice and uh, mint. The Wheels Cop is one of my favourite soundtracks. came at the same time as Ghostbusters. I had Ghostbusters and... On, I had the tape and I guess was on one side and the wheels cup on the other. Uh, that reminds me of 1984, summer of 1984, listening to that and Ghostbusters. Fantastic. My Bruce Springsteen. I should have these in order, I know. Born to Run, the best album ever made. Fantastic album. And uh, Clarence. God bless him. Back to the Future soundtrack on picture disc. I could do it really do with putting that in a uh, frame, but I don't know if you can get a frame that's round like that for your uh, picture discs. You should be able to. John Lennon. I imagine. For obvious reasons. Hey, Billy Joel again. Billy Joel. Yes, she's on Bon Jovi, I know. But it's a, it's a, it's a soundtrack inspired by the film The Young Gun 2. Um, there are actually a couple of really good songs on this. Uh, Billy Get Your Guns, um, which one is it now? Blaze God is obviously brilliant. Uh, I can't remember which other one it is now. They're all good though, they're all really good. So it is, a, it is classed as a movie soundtrack, so you can forgive me for that one. Another Star Wars. Now, what is this? There you go, you see. Side one's all Star Wars. And side two is all sci-fi. This again should be 1977. Because there was so many of these that came out. Back then. Uh, they've even got the sticker on there, look. This is not a recording of the original soundtrack. So that's it's London that's London Philharmonic Orchestra as well. Red Dead 2 music. That uh, Red Dead 2 got me through a bad patch last year. And um, to have the songs and the music from it is just absolutely fantastic. Those text will always take me back to that uh, time last year. Picky Blinders, fantastic uh, series. I've not actually opened this yet, but there's some amazing songs on there. I will do eventually, because I want to listen to it. But obviously it's on Spotify, so if I, I did actually want to listen to it. <laughs> Rocky Four, I got this the other day, you might have seen the video. From my new friend, he's got a little shop around the corner. I had this on, it must have been cassette, it must have been cassette, um, training montage, I remember that, they used that in the NFL program on Channel 4, 1985, and that is the first Rocky film I actually saw at the cinema, so the, it's actually a good album, Survivor, and uh, finally we have Another Ghostbusters album, but this is the score. 
this is the music, not the not the songs uh, sent off for this. There's actually some of the music from the deleted scenes. Um, the Ghostbusters theme. They were going to use that instead of um, Ray Parker Jr. It wasn't until very late in the day that Ray Parker Jr. came in to do music and they actually put music in instead of some of the uh, so, uh, songs instead of, of the music by Alma Bernstein but uh, I, do, I do love some of these song, some of these uh, music and this is again this is sat, this is sealed I haven't listened to it yet I do intend to when I get around to it so there you go that's my uh, pretty full record collection if there's any soundtracks you think I might like let me know I don't think you'll swear me on music music wise singers and things like that you can tell I'm pretty old school Roy Orbison, Bruce Springsteen Billy Joel bit look of it I've got a lot of Billy Joel I didn't realise I had that much but film soundtracks I need to know which are the best to which ones you'll like I'd like to have the all Indiana Jones ones obviously I want to get the Last Jedi and a Rise of Skywalker Soundtracks too. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. It's something a different. Away from toys for a bit. Uh, I'll be back to toys probably tomorrow. Or uh, maybe not. I might be uh, reviewing Doctor Who. So I've started watching that again. We'll see. And uh, until then, please like and subscribe. And may the toys be with you. <laughs>